Hi there folks, it's Dr. Hammer here with a video tutorial on solving quadratic equations by factorising. So let's just go through some steps here. Uh, so the main steps in solving quadratic through factorisation is first thing we need to do is rearrange our equation into this form here. So we write the x squared term first, followed by the x term, followed by the constant. Okay, so this is what we need on the left hand side and we write the zero on the right hand side. Once we've written our quadratic in that form, our next step is to factorise the quadratic on the left hand side, either using the sum and product method or by splitting the x term. So for example, if we have a quadratic of this form here, on the left hand side we can factorise this into two linear factors, x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2, and that equals zero. Okay, so equals zero on the right hand side. Once we factorise it into this uh, product of linear factors, what we can do is solve using the null factor law. So given these two factors here, this is equal to zero if x plus three is equal to zero or x plus two is equal to zero. Now we've got simple linear linear equations to solve. So the first one, x plus three equals zero if x equals minus three. So we basically take the 3 over to the other side. Or x plus 2 equals 0 if x equals minus 2. Okay, so let's go through some examples. So the first one that we will look at is this one here. So x squared plus 5x take 50 equals 0. Now already in the required form, so we've got the x squared term the x term and the constant term. So the next step is to factorize using the null factor, oh, sorry, factorize first. So we get two linear factors. So it will be x plus 10 multiplied by x take five equals zero. Then we use the null factor law. Therefore, x plus 10 equals zero or x minus five equals zero. Solving both of those, therefore x is equal to minus 10. So remember the opposite or the inverse of adding 10 is to subtract 10, or x is equal to 5. Okay, that's the first simple example done. The second example, we look at the quadratic equation x squared equals 5x. In this case, remember the first thing we need to do is bring this term over to the left hand side. So we end up with x squared take 5x equals 0. Now we're looking for highest common factor. In this case the highest common factor is going to be x. So we end up with x at the front times x minus 5 equals 0. Therefore again null factor law x equals 0. So that's our first linear factor or x minus 5 equals zero. That's our second linear factor. Solving those, first one we've already got, therefore x equals zero or x equals five. So that's that second example done. There are two answers. Okay, as a third example, let's have a look at this quadratic equation. 2x squared take 16x plus 30 equals zero. The first thing we want to do with this is look for a highest common factor. So in this case, the highest common factor is 2. So therefore, take this out, take 8x plus 15 equals 0. Now, we can actually then divide both sides by 2, and we end up with x squared take 8x plus 15 equals 0. Now we can factorise this as before, so x take 5, x take 3 equals 0, therefore x take 5 equals 0, or x take 3 equals 0. Final step, solve both of those, x equals 5, or x equals 3. Okay, done. So that's our third example. Okay, one last example. So this time we'll start off with the quadratic equation 2x squared 
plus 15 equals 13x. So again, first step, we need to bring this term over to the left hand side. So we end up with 2x squared, take 13x plus 15 equals 0. Now, looking at this, no highest common factor, so we need to use the splitting the x term method. So we look at AC is equal to 30. Factors of 30 that add up to 15, uh, they're both going to be negative. So we're looking at, um, let's see, let's just go through it. PQ, P plus Q. So as I said, both negative. So if we start off at minus 1, minus 30, that's going to be minus 31, minus 2, and minus 15 will give us minus 17, minus 3, and minus 10 will give us minus 13. So that's the one that we want. So we split our x term using those two numbers. So that becomes 2x squared, take 3x, take 10x plus 15 equals zero. Now keep working on the left hand side. So grouping these two and these two. Highest common factor of the first two terms is going to be x. So we end up with 2x take 3. And the highest common factor of the second term will be minus 5. And 2x take 3 as a factor there equals 0. Therefore x take 5 times 2x take 3 equals 0. Now we can use the null factor law. So therefore x take 5 equals 0 or 2x take 3 equals 0. Therefore x equals 5 or x is equal to 3 divided by 2. Okay, there are two answers. All right, so I hope that's been helpful. That's fact, uh, solving quadratic equations by factorization, starting off with some simple examples and working all the way through to this last example, fairly complicated one, where we are solving by splitting the x term. Okay, see you next time, folks.